Good morning, this is my final update on the pigs for this year. So today it's the 9th of November 2021 and it's a fairly mild, slightly cloudy but beautiful day here at Embercombe and today we're taking the pigs off these fields for this year. They've been here for a few weeks and they've done a fantastic job of disrupting the ground from its previous state of a very closed um, grassy sward and if you want to know a bit more about how they do that and why they do that and why we want that um, then please do watch my previous video but today we are yeah saying thanks to the pigs for all their hard work and they will go back to their farm so They've done a good job, carried on more of the same from the previous video. You can see some of the disruption in this field. And they are now just getting ready to be loaded into the trailer. They're very noisy, so if some of the video is difficult to hear, I do apologise when I get near them. They're waiting to go in the trailer and have some food. So, yeah, the pigs are looking well. And piggies! Pig, pig, pigs! Piggies! They're looking well and they have grown quite hairy coats in the last couple of weeks where the temperature has dropped and um, yeah, their, their condition is good and they've clearly been having a pretty good time foraging for all their wild food. So, hello girls! And today we'll load them up in the trailer and take them back to their farm and hopefully next year we can have some more pig action on the land and this actually putting the pigs here at Embercoon was a trial for a concept within the Devon Wildland initiative of providing pig disturbance and disruption and grazing uh, to other sites and land holdings which might want it as part of their rewilding or making space for nature and this putting the pigs here at Embercoon was a trial to see what the logistics involved, the care levels, the uh, sort of checking of the stock, how, how that would work if we took the pigs off their home holding and onto a site, a separate site that was um, just purely for the function of causing some disruption to the land. So uh, it seems to have been a fairly successful trial. Um, we are lucky enough that some of the staff here at Embercombe have really enjoyed getting involved keep an eye on them and um, yeah people have been talking about their experiences of the joy of hearing them on the land and even when they can't see them sort of out and about on the rest of the of the land and how that's increased their sense of connection with who else is living here and um, also talking about the um, some of the joys of seeing the pigs exhibit the different behaviors that they that they show so how happy they are to see people how much they're motivated to come and have some food eat the apples, the windfall, and um, yeah, so it's been, it's been a good experience, I think. Um, what we wait to see next year, or perhaps I'll do another update as the spring breaks, is what happens to these areas here, what grows, what germinates, and then what that brings in, in the form of other abundance. So uh, yeah, thanks for listening, and we'll check out and load the pigs in the trailer. 